Hello everybody, Sharon Pichardo here once again with audio recording techniques and we're talking about the compressor once again. We're adding a little bit to the previous video that you saw. And as always, there's three pieces. Getting to record right away, number two, putting it in practice, and number three, getting a little bit more technical. So let's get into recording right away. If you already started recording with your compressor and you, you're using it or you're mixing with it, um, you remember that we took the uh, first part of it, which is the ratio, and you say let me put it somewhere in the middle. Don't go to one to one because you won't hear anything. Second thing is you want to bring down your threshold to somewhere where you're actually seeing some type of gain reduction. And the third thing is that you're going to raise up your gain so that you can compensate for how much gain reduction you had. So here's where the two pieces come into play that we missed on the last video, which is your attack and your release. Let's say you want something that's very snappy, okay? That you want something that sounds right up in your face, like real quick. Then what you do is that you take your attack and you open it up some. That means that you raise the numbers up. That means that you will actually hear more of the snap of your sound come through, okay? If you had like a note, like an instrument, let's say somebody who's singing, then you might wanna take your release and make that longer as well. So that way you can prolong that particular sound. Now, if it was something like a drum or something that um, is very percussive, um, that you want it to be very snappy, then you take your release and you actually bring it down, which means that the numbers go down. The release won't be as long. Okay, so that's basically putting it into recording like right off the bat. Let's put it into practice. Let's understand it a little bit more. So the attack, what it is, is it's allowing for that initial punch to come through. And in order for you to allow that little piece to come through, what you do is that you raise up your attack so that that initial first slap of it comes right through. Now, if you bring your attack down all the way to zero, then what you'll hear is more of a muffled sound rather than a snappy sound. All right, so that's the first part of it. Along with it, your release will allow for that snappy sound to either be very short or you would actually hear it happen and then it just fades off. So let's say you had a, like a like a like a tone, for example, like a bass, a string, some type of piano, or anything, even a singer, and you wanted for those notes to be a little bit more smoothed out along the way, then you could actually get your release and put it longer, and that way it'll actually hear you'll hear it more smoother. Now, if it was something percussive, then again, like I said before, you'll get your release and you put it shorter, and you'll have only that snap come through through the attack, and it's gone. So you would only compress maybe towards the end of it. So guys, those are pretty much some of the uh, things to put it into practice. Uh, a little bit more technical, when you want to do something like, let's say, with a snare, a keyboard, things that are very percussive, that's when you'd have probably a longer attack and a shorter release. And if you were to want something that's more musically inclined, then you might want to do a shorter attack and a longer release. And play in between. See what sounds good to you. Remember, what we're, we're trying to do is we're trying to even out all of the sounds so that they sound a little bit more together. Or that you can actually get something a little bit more snappier. So that way it makes it sound really cool. All right, guys? So if anything, this is a little bit more information. I'm going to keep doing a lot more videos. Subscribe right here to Sherwin Pichardo. And let me know if there's some kind of video you want me to record. All right? I'll talk to you soon.